Hi, it's Diane at NatureWorks, and we've got monarchs hatching today. This is the third one I've seen in the last few minutes. And it pushes its way out of the chrysalis. And then it will drop down and hang on this empty chrysalis shell for several hours as it dries its wings. I'll show you how it drops out. It needs to push its way out first. It takes a lot of strength to do that, I'm sure. The green chrysalis is behind this one, will hatch some point this week. And this is the migrating generation that makes it, hopefully will fly and migrate all the way down to the mountains in Mexico. Here it comes. See how fat its abdomen is? It needs to pump liquid from that abdomen to fill up those wings. Pretty cool, isn't it? And it'll just kind of swing back and forth and hang there for the next few hours. See, it's curling and uncurling its proboscis. That's what it drinks nectar from gardens, from flowers. On its way down to Mexico, it'll stop in all the gardens on the way and fuel up with nectar. So. Pretty neat. We've got a bunch on display that we've raised from eggs in the garden. I'll back up a little bit. They're starting to move around a little bit, so we will let the ones go that are moving around maybe in an hour or so. so. If you plant it, they will come. Plant milkweed in your garden and you'll get eggs laid on it, and then you will help the monarch population. All right. Thanks for watching. This is Diane from NatureWorks.